Now I'm going to leave it at that for the front and then I'm going to make the back a bit different. So first I'm going to hide the background here and then save it over the other one. Refresh my textures. And there we've got our new rip. And this looks a bit better going up a bit more rounded than so straight. Now as for the back, we could move the holes around by alt-clicking, going into the mask, selecting our lasso tool, and then going to our mouse tool, and then you can see we can drag a hole away, and then position it somewhere new, and then control deselect, and then to fill this hole up, we could use our paint bucket, And we could even flip it so it doesn't look exactly the same like the front. And this hole I'm going to fill. And we could even copy this. Hold down Alt and you get those two mice, two cursors and then you can drag it out. And I'm going to control transform it, flip it horizontally, and squish it a bit. Use my paint bucket, fill in that hole, and use my brush to fill in these holes. And as for the bottom edge here, I'm going to take my lasso tool and transform this whole thing and warp it. And paint a few different things here in the edge. I'm going to oops, fill this first with black. Alt click on my mask All right, let's try something like that. And I load that in on the back fabric. I should call this back and this front. And then I'll take my texture transform tool and I'll scale it down a bit. And I'll flip it. Then I'll gently transform the pattern a bit to fit this texture. And let's see what that looks like. And here we go at particle distance 8. 
So that's basically it, guys. I hope this tutorial helps you. And if you enjoyed it, please like and share to help spread the word. And subscribe for more free tutorials. If you want to master Marvelous Designer and know how to create all kinds of amazing clothes, check out cgelves.com for a Thor beginner's course and advanced clothes making workshops. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorials.